That's good. It must have probably been like worth a peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's what like, the? Hell <laughs> no! She's like, hello? Who's this? Who are you looking for? <laughs> you work so hard and then you come home and then you know you forget to leave the attitude at the door. But sometimes it's like, well, you guys played a role in something with a bigger picture, right? That's the main goal, right? Stop, <laughs> bro! Stop! She's just thinking about it. She's Stop. like. <laughs> <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Welcome to the Bro Players Podcast. My name is O Weezy. Other note wise, known as O. My name is Pete Does. Yo, yo, Call yo. This is the Bro Players Podcast. This is a podcast about whatever we want. We call ourselves the role players because we hope to be a part of everybody's life in a positive and entertaining way. So enjoy yourself. Enjoy the journey that me and my bro will embark on. Welcome to the first episode. Official episode officially of the role players podcast. Let's go, Let's baby. Go. Uh, check it, check it, check it out. Uh, yeah, that's it. Got me hyperating, bro. I'm gonna spit some song. We need some some, nice. We need somebody to just come up and press uh, this button for us. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Only ad libs, but y'all. All right, all right, all right. Yes, all right. Sir. Okay. Yo, yo, we're back, we're back. First episode, first yep. official episode, right? But um, we recorded maybe what, like two, three, three before this, so it's like the fourth. So we're gonna have some tapes that you guys kind of want to see. You're gonna you have to mean? subscribe to You're the Patreon to, <laughs> to get to that. whatever we have. You know what I mean? And this is gonna have to be, you know, you're gonna have to see it. It's a must see. Yeah. Once we get it all loaded up and we get it all um cleaned up, you guys are gonna if you wanna see this exclusive footage, you're gonna exclusive. have to sign up sign up for the Patreon, come yeah. support your boys. We're trying to bridge the gap and you know at the same time have some laughs. We're having some a uh, little bit of issue, but we're trying to have some laughs, tell some real shit, and then you know me talk about everyday life. You know yeah, how we man. do it. Hey. Relate it's all everything's all relatable. That's what know. we're trying to get to. I don't know how exclusive they are going to be because um i like i can't wait for shit so i would like i'll be too excited to just release this shit Yo, you know what i mean it's <laughs> going to be like jordan line it's going to be like the jordans came out retro that's how exclusive they're going to be <laughs> but how though like because like say like my shit's all fucked up so i hopefully this is recording it's recording there but hey, don't worry it's um, all good keep going like so like like say like on christmas like i'll get presents for people bobby can't wait to fucking tell you like what i got for you like it's like, <laughs> like oh bro you gonna fucking love you, you this gonna shit love this, you gonna love it dude like, yeah, yeah, fucking, i can't wait to you want me to just i'll give you a hint yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you want to tell them for them huh yeah. you kidding you can't even wait for that yeah because i'd be like i got you a fire ass one dude. i got you don't trip don't trip i'm excited for it <laughs> yeah. I'm exci when i bought it yeah. i was excited hell already yeah. hell yeah and then yeah, man, I'm just like, man, Yeah, so I that's what so, we're trying to bring to it to the table, but uh Yeah, you know so I mean? hopefully, you know what I mean, there's gonna be some good content and some good shit on the way, you know what I mean? We finally figured out a <sighs> We finally figured out a way, you know what I'm saying, to bring this to, to life, you know what I mean? Yeah. We we a lot of a lot of texting back and forth yeah. and um and we still we still got we're still a lot learning. To go. we're, still, we're learning. still learning we got notes that to, to give each other yeah and, um how to make this perfect like not perfect but you know what i mean just make it a little bit more smoother and you yeah know, get, it, get our get our stripes in the game and it's just definitely keep a learning process but i feel at the same time like the content we're giving 
is going to be educational and like you know maybe motivating for some yeah, people yeah. like maybe you want to do it too come up a little bit more because you're not yeah. in, into the um oh my bad my slouch is it's heavy heavy slouch just game move, it, move your seat because it's hitting okay. the or like yeah just there we go so uh, you know yeah. another thing i gotta pick up on but um maybe I can move it this way a little bit more anyways um yeah we have a lot to learn as you can see i'm fidg fidgeting with all this stuff um seeing where to sit and all that but we finally figured out a name you know what i mean the that, was the, that was the hardest part right there yeah we tossed around a lot of names and stuff and that's why these first three episodes that we recorded um sorry my know. mic is about to fall off it just fucking didn't want to grip on Everything that we try to not do wrong is going wrong. I know, dude. <laughs> like, my mic is I mean, guys, that's how up. it happens, like, though. I think yeah. that's what I was, like, the most worried about is, like, the mic and the sound from listening to the other shit. I think you're, you're coming time. in cool now. You're right. coming yeah, pretty, yeah, yeah. pretty, pretty, I think pretty clutch. I think a little bit um, higher. I don't want to be too close, because... But anyways, yeah. Um, we're just... We're trying to do it better, and we're trying to, you know, push these episodes out those first three episodes as like i was saying you know what i mean we didn't have a name so we were just you know they're there um but we didn't really want to like put it out to the world or anything just because we didn't have a name and we didn't you know we had nothing to call ourselves but you know role players the role players podcast the role players podcast is more role about players players with a z at the end um so the role players podcast man we're gonna talk whatever we want just have some fun and just bullshit and you know maybe you guys will get something out of it you know yeah but definitely take it with a grain of salt yeah definitely i mean it's more like you know we're like a supporting we're supporting you support us we want to take nobody shine but it's like you know sometimes yeah. the little it's like the little things matter the most or yeah. help you out in the in the biggest time or crunch time or when it's pressure so that's yeah. what we wanted role players you know it's a collective yeah thing. it's a team team effort it's a team effort yeah definitely because you, know? you know you know growing up being on teams you know what i mean you got to play your part in certain people's life right definitely and that's i think that's what we connect with the most and that just just stuck out to us that's the type of people we are we want to be role players in people's lives role models or players Ooh, you know what i mean bars so, you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah yeah you know what i mean watch out my mic is hot right now <laughs> blazing <laughs> just blaze yeah so but, um yeah man so that's what it is we're gonna keep continue to try to do this consistently you know get our you know we're rookies we don't we didn't take you know any classes on how to set this up or nah. you know what i mean YouTube like what University. equipment and stuff so this guy brought you know a lot of this equipment and um knows how to set it up and i'm just here I, you know i'm learning on my way so you know what i mean hey man it's, it's whatever it don't matter like if whoever got whatever it's just we're coming together that's the whole point yeah like you come in here helping me out you i'm helping you out you know what yeah, i mean it's yeah, just it's yeah. a collective thing like yeah no it's not it help, made it, not it, to me it, it, it didn't it mean together, no right there's no dollar sense in this it was just like a we're gonna do this like whatever it takes like i said whatever it takes to get to the goal i'm trying to be let's successful go, let's go you know, feel me and it's gonna be nice nice so um yeah man that's what it is you know our little uh prelude to you know a new journey definitely definitely so, with it definitely worth it you uh just came back from la in uh anaheim uh disneyland how was that yo um it was it was a good experience you know uh did it for um my family they wanted to go um my my girl wanted to she wanted to go there for her birthday La the week before she was sick she got sick no covid but she got sick and we didn't do really not much on her birthday but she's like i won't i take the week off because i thought it was my birthday and i actually want to go to la so you know i know you have the weekend off if you can take it you know i said all right let's go we'll take i'll take a day off you know so we can kind of travel get some you know rest in between the travels it was cool um we did some la stuff um i we just kind of just kept it low-key i didn't visit family you know 
because we have a lot over there we just kind of just did some like la stuff and then we went to disneyland that's a whole day thing did and you guys we, drive there we drove there okay that's like, about six hours from the bay, the bay the or bay. five hours for some professional drivers that done it a lot a lot of times <laughs> yeah so you know what i mean usually i drive i always drive she said she can do it and she was being nice enough because she wanted me to watch the game so she let me watch the game while we was in the car and she was driving oh over there and on the way back huh <laughs> no the way back i drove and then when the game started it was only an hour left in and then uh, I, okay on monday when i drove back okay okay so you guys did some la stuff what you guys do out there we went to first thing we swam at the hotel because the kids want to swim um ah, after that, that fun. after that we went to tommy's Ooh, right that's around my there. Favorite. I Tommy's couldn't wait. Burger, I couldn't. Bro. Usually, we will wait till the end of the last day. Yeah. And I could not wait because I've been thinking about it. We went to Tommy's, mm -hmm. hit the Tommy's up. After the Tommy's, we went straight to Hollywood, mm -hmm. and then we did some Hollywood. We had these ice cream bars that were so good. It was like called polenta or and it's like a it's either a water bacon you know those mexican ice creams polenta like the the fucking not polenta no, the I'm sack not, that no, fucking no, no, the no. babies no 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 how bad <laughs> x that out that was wrong i know that's paleta i think that's it's paleta pl pl placenta yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they froze it <laughs> Yo, got fucking women's the amniotic placenta. fluid in there. <laughs> Baby's hair follicles Yo, just left in there. No way, bro. It's in LA too. And it's fucked up. Hey, nah. Oh. <laughs> it's fucked up. <laughs> nah, I think it's called pal paleta. I I don't want to look for it right now. But anyways, paletero, man. Yeah, no. So it's like an ice cream, Mexican ice cream, basically. And there's one that's a water base, and then there's the one that's a cream base. Oh, okay. I got the cream base. And then I had some like white chocolate. It's dipped in hot wa choc that white shit chocolate. That was fire. Yeah, and it had some almond nuts on it and a little sprinkle. It was fucking so good. And then, mm. and then my girl got she got uh, the water based watermelon, and then she put tahin over it oh, and some other spices. Tahin. And my daughter got the same I, thing. I never really liked tahin. Like but that. you got you, you got to love I mean? spicy like food though. Spicy, but like sour. Like when I was growing up, everybody used to get those uh, the lemon. Um, was it with the duck on the front? Pilo Ricos and shit. Is it those ones? Yeah, the with the, 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 little, the, the, the gummy ones yeah, too. Yeah, the gummy, like, yeah. I never really liked that. I was like, why do you guys like this? It's not yeah, sweet. Like, I mean, really, like, but there's a lot of people that like that stuff. Like, you know, like, um, what, micheladas? I love they that. They put like that on, my the on beer and shit like that. I love that. I could I could care less well, about that shit. You know, I'll drink beer though, but you know what I mean. I'm with the I'm with the Mexican, yeah. so <laughs> <laughs> I mean that don't matter. I'm like, used to yeah. Well, yeah. You know, a lot of people like it still. But yeah, it's teach his own if you if yeah. you like that. I just I never, never but that ice cream it. spot is super dope. It was really good. They had like uh, horchata there. They had frescas. Yeah. Where what this is in L. A. On Hollywood Boulevard. On Hollywood Boulevard. Oh oh, did you guys see like the Hollywood stars and stuff? We went to the stars. Uh, they wanted to go. My daughter. My girl, they wanted to go to the Walt Disney Star mm -hmm. since we're going to Disneyland the next day. Yeah, they wanted to go to to that, and then after that, um, the Walt Disney Star. Yeah, his own star oh, in okay. Hollywood. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. They wanted to take a picture there. Yeah. And then uh, I went to the Bruce Lee one, and then we saw Michael Jackson's. Yeah. Um, we saw a bunch of stars. There's like a little mall over there. Yeah, it is and a then mall. they have like a big ass water fountain or something like that in the um, middle. Or it's like, whatever, man. Yeah, but there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of attractions over there. Jimmy Fallon's little. They do. The, yeah, it's a little da yeah down the, the ways. Uh, I didn't really try something. to look for that shit though. But we were just kind of just cruising through. That's cool. Um, what's it called? I, I what I started doing now is like I try to get into this like whole thing like trying to like take one thing from each city that i visit and then kind of like have that as a memorabilia which is yeah 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 so what i'm doing right now is uh collecting uh bottle openers oh uh, so yeah, i went to, i went to vegas and i did that yeah. i have some from over here to san francisco i have some from yeah, Mon yeah. monterey bay reno yeah yeah and yeah. i got the hollywood one there's we a do, different uh, ones we do magnets yeah i do but magnets half too. of them are broken because the kids always <laughs> walk up to the of fucking course, right? smack thing that shit and down. they'll smack it down and then oh they'll like they'll just like break it or you know what i mean it'll break on the way down and hit the floor or whatever like in vegas we grabbed we like i was walking we were walking through i think it was planet hollywood or something and 
like it just caught my eye like it was like a whole magnet like um what do you call it like memorabilia what is it we call it like souvenir souvenirs store. yeah and um on the outside of the door it was like a whole wall of hamburger magnets Ooh. like shaped like ham like real yeah, hamburgers yeah, yeah. like this big but it's like it was a magnet i was like that shit is tight yeah, yeah i yeah, need yeah. to get that shit yeah, yeah, but yeah. and then when i brought it when we brought it back um we showed the kids and my daughter uh Haley, she she was like ooh, you know what i mean we got that in a donut and she was playing with it and then we left the room and came back and it was all in pieces dude oh no she ripped it up she took out the bun from the uh like the meat and the you know all the lettuce and stuff and and then that from the uh, magnet the actual magnet so <laughs> can't have anything yeah all. so fucking me had to super glue it like all together so it's on there but then and then she took it apart again but we're trying to re keep it intact so it's there but yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah we get a lot of like little souvenirs and stuff from everywhere yeah, we go you got even it. You like got the it. little places around here yeah definitely even like, the local spots yeah, you gotta like spots you know what I'm saying cause you never know you know what I'm saying like some place might shut down yeah yeah yeah, yeah you never know yeah. like you know like uh another little sandwich spot in the city Roxy's I mean it's yeah. changed owner Did but I got souvenirs and stuff? I got a t-shirt from there oh, and I just yeah, I mean yeah, it's yeah. not really nothing to rock but nah, just to but have, so, have it you I know got what I mean when we went to Disneyland last year it was the last time we went to LA I Tommy's, mind you, is my favorite spot too. Like, I have to go there every time we're there and bring some back every time. Like, I have to bring some back. And um, I did it. <laughs> but um, I, when we went there last time, I bought a shirt from there. So I was like, I need, you know, a shirt from there. So I bought a shirt and I always bring some shit back. Even when um, our cousin Yarnell used to um, live out there for uh, school. Yeah, and she used to come back like almost every weekend because we used to have like fucking hell of get-togethers and stuff. And yeah. she would just you know dash it out here and drive yeah. like fuck it. I used to ask her to like, hey, what's up? Can you bring me some Tommy's Burger? Fuck that. You know, Tommy's Burger is a a, a burger joint, and they their their specialty is like um, sloppy joe, sloppy like, chili, joes. like a chili, yeah, chili, chili fries, chili fries, chili cheeseburger. Yeah. And, um but the chili cheeseburger is chili dog one. yeah chili dog yeah um and um oh, it was, was bomb say. dude yeah. uh, i always asked we're to almost about to there. go again and then we ended up going to this uh korean fusion land spot but the last day uh -huh. that we went there last time so it's kind of like we're gonna that's our spot now like oh, it's okay. in korea yeah, town yeah. to go there yeah 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 it's called uh Damn, that just Esca sounds good. yeah Escal. I think Escalia. It's, it's, it's a Korean fusion, Korean slash Latin fusion. Okay. So they had um, uh, kimchi fried rice chicken, Ooh. and then had these empanada chickens, and then another one was Ooh. a vegetarian with like a sauce on. It was super good, and they had chicken wings, like an Asian fusion, like a yeah. sesame chicken oh, yeah, wings. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, it was fire, dude. We were gonna. Just go and eat there, but it was gonna waste too much time because we woke up a little bit late the next, the last day. Oh, you didn't. So oh, just, you wanted to go there the last day before you we came did back. go there the last day. So we ordered and then we ate it on the road. Ah, uh, yeah. So that's tough though, because you wanted to make it back for the game, which I barely even got to yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then I, I, it's kind of like you don't want to hell stay. Yeah, it's hard to stay there that long, and then that next yeah, day I had to work too. So I'm just driving. like. I'm gonna just thug it out right now. Yeah, I try to I try to schedule our like trips like leave during the week and then go to Disneyland on the the weekday so there's barely anybody there. Yeah. And then leave coming back home like on Saturday or something. Sunday. Yeah. So there's you know, we're out of people's way. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? yeah. But that means that you had to take out like, you know, a couple of days off work uh, and the, shit. Yeah, the, the weekend, but, the weekday. Yeah, basically. but that shit is like, it's clutch because like, there'd be no people, you know, unless it's summer, there'll be no people, you know, it, at Disneyland. And you go yeah. on every ride, you'd be waiting there. But the weights are not that bad right now. Nah, though. it was cool. You know, we had the little fast pass thing that Natalia. You know, my girl, she hooked it up. Um, so we were able to like, she, it up. Yeah. she, she got him for she free. Got the plug. <laughs> if you know about the plug, buy, you know, he just buy that shit on the app, dude. Yeah, you know, <laughs> this guy doesn't know shit about Disneyland. <laughs> Call me, I got, you gotta, you gotta I got fucking up. indulge, bro. Be a dizzy, be yeah, happy, man. The happiest place yeah, yeah, on yeah, earth, for sure. Bro. For sure, I was happy. <laughs> 
like, I don't know any of that shit. I was bro. happy. <laughs> nah, it was cool. What, what, over there, I got my favorite beer. Uh, we I had the Blondie at California. We went to California first, and Blondie. Then, it's a I don't it's a regular IPA or something, but they I had it there when I went there last time. They had it and I got it again, so I had two beers, and I got one more because you only can get beer in California Adventure, and then at the uh, in Disneyland you can't get you can't get no alcohol there. Only in the Star Wars land, and they only have mixed drinks. And I don't want I don't want to drink alcohol. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, you can do that. Too. Bag, so yeah, you can do that too. They don't look. There. But uh, we got to so we get there. We get to California. And then me and Delara are going there. So I got a GoPro and the, with a, um, a stick. Uh, selfie stick. And me and Delilah were like super on it. We're like walking next to each other like someone's video. Like we're like the paparazzi's next to us. And we're yeah, all like yeah. all happy. And then this one lady, she says, oh, those are not allowed here. And I'm like, oh, if it's extended too long, we can't, you can't bring it here to take it out. And I was like, I'll put it away. And then she ends what up does that mean? St- extend it? Like if like you can't too long? Like you can't you can't extend it? Like I don't know if anybody can see me on the video or I'm describing this. So it's a selfie stick and extends long like a, a antenna. You know what I mean? So why can't you just keep it like that? Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. And I said I'm not gonna extend it. And she, and then so she call she gets on the phone and she calls the oh, head of security like that. And then the, it was me. Phoenix and Delilah, my daughter and my son, I'm strolling in and my daughter is holding the selfie stick. The head of security comes up to us. This is in the front and this is while um, my girl, she's trying to get the the fast pass thing ticket, yeah. right? And I'm like, what the heck? And then they rush us, there's like five of them. And I'm like, okay. And I was like, this is a selfie stick. She's like, yeah, how long does it extend? And I'm like, uh, not that far, but it kind of does. You can go like almost like four feet. But I didn't pull it out all the way, and then she said, "Go ahead, that's a little too far. You're gonna have to put that away." And then I was like, well, "I said, why did you bring all your whole team over here? Like, you see who I'm with? Like, you you're hella rushing us for a selfie stick." Said, oh no, I'm just training. And I was like, "But you got this big guy right here trying to rush. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what is he gonna do? You know what Man, I mean? Like, that's fucked up." Yeah, he and he he got hella soft, and I was like, "I was like, cause you came up, you rushed up real quick, cause it was a big, big yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna say what nationality, but I'm just saying." And I was like, "Well, how tall was he? Like, and how many pounds?" Me? Oh, he's at least like two fifty. Easy, like what's easy. Like how tall? He's at least like almost six feet. Okay. But he rushed, and then I was like, "Why? Why are you rushing up here for?" Damn, six like, feet, two feet. That's pretty big. Yeah, I was like, "Why are you rushing up here?" He goes, "Oh, I'm sorry. I'm I'm training. I'm just." I was like, "But you hella bulked up because I had a selfie stick." And then he was like, "No, no, I'm sorry." And they're like, "Well, you were gonna have to escort you." And he's like, well, she's like, "Where'd you park?" And I was like, "Why? Why does it matter where I parked?" And she, they parked all, the, we parked all the way, like we took the tram basically. Wait, they escort you out? They kicked so, you guys out? They were trying to kick me out and they're like, we need to escort you so we know that you put your, that selfie stick away. And I said, for a selfie stick? And then I was like, she's like, yeah, you need to leave right now. I said, like, I'm not leaving my kids here and my wife's in there. You know what I mean? She's inside there trying to take care of business. Like, so I'll you, just put this shit away and be done with so it. Or I you just, guys could take it. Like if it's she's that like, serious. You can, you, you can either um, put it in your car or you're never going to see it again. And I said, for a selfie stick, I said, hey, uh, okay, I said, you know what? I'm going to take it out. I'm going to put it away. And that's going to be the end of it. She's like, well, you can hand it over here. And I said, I said, hold on. Can you just take a, like, take a quick moment real quick? And they, they went to the side. Okay, hold on. We're going to talk about it. So they had, like, a meeting with, there was, like, f- four or five of them. That's a good thing to do. Like, all right, can you just calm down for yeah, a second? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just too and much. And then just think of, because, like, in the moment of, like, like, Argument, right? Yeah. You're just gonna be like going back and forth, right? Yeah. What the fuck, bro? This is annoying as fuck. This shit better be a good sound. Right there, just leave it, leave it. There you go. But like, you know, like in the heat of argument, you're gonna start saying shit back and forth, and you want to just attack back, right? I wasn't trying to do that. And I think but then, like, at least you stopped it, and you're just like, "Why don't you take a second? Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I was like, "Hold like, on, hold on." Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, they had a little meeting, or she's, they were trying to tell me like, "Oh, if you want." We can start walking out there, and we already got. Get a little my, closer. You sound like oh, you're like outside. My, like my, zoom. Mind you, we we got right already at the um, we're right in the beginning of the park, so we just entered in. So then after that, um, I'm telling her I gotta wait, and I'm not gonna leave and leave my kids here, and I yeah. have to walk over here, and then they're still having me, and then. What time of the day was this? It's early in the morning. The first thing oh, in the morning. Oh God. And I'm like, you gonna make me walk all the way back there? And he's like, I said, for a selfie stick, you know what? Just it's a safety precaution, and all. And I'm like, I understand. And then you the, know what I mean, like what <laughs> my the, daughter was the like, nation is going through, and yeah. like, like all that, you know, just being on your toes about shit. 
Yeah. But like you know what it is, and you don't have to go all crazy for this stealth selfie stick. I mean, I, mean, I get, I get it, dude. I don't want to. I don't want no no problems. I don't. You no, know what but saying? like, yeah, no, yeah. You handled. It. I think you handled it like you know fine. Yeah, like, was... you're kind of caught off guard, and you're like not like yelling or like nah, going hell at crazy all. i just but, got mad because they, they rush had a rush yeah yeah like, and i was and like what like, are you fucking rushing and like, i was like all right you, you know now that it's a selfie stick right it's yeah. not a gun it's not a weapon yeah, yeah so at least just be like after that you're like oh he's with his kids this is not too serious just put it away and let's move on right so okay i'll i'll, I'll i didn't want to give it up to them i was gonna walk back in because I, I it was only 20 bucks but then i was like you know what fuck it because my daughter she was like though i was like just give it dad like who cares just buy another one and i was like no nah, I, I i didn't want to i was being stubborn and then she was kind of worried so she walked to <laughs> she walked to uh, natalia she walked to my girl and she was trying to talk to her and i was like you gonna tell mom she's like yeah i'm gonna tell mom so me and phoenix are just chilling and the lady comes up to me and i was like you know what here just take it I, I, it's all good i'm not tripping i'll buy another one it's not it's not a big deal you, i don't want to ruin my my family's time for the selfie stick and then the lady came up the head of security she came you know what just put it away just make sure you don't use it you can use the camera just don't have it out don't have or you don't even have it extended if you want to use it, just don't have it extended and i'm like okay i get it i was like no worry i said don't even trip i'm not i don't want no trouble i don't want you to keep watching me while i'm here yeah. i'm gonna put it away i'll put it away i won't take it out in the park yeah. So I didn't take it out in the park. They could have just did that from the beginning. Just yeah. please, just don't extend it. That's yeah. all we want. And that yeah. could have been that could have been. It. I mean, it is because on the it's rules. Long, it's but, on the rules and stuff. But it's but. long enough. Like you know what I mean. Like already, you could just be like that, and it's cool, right? Because that. Let me see. Like this is cool, right? You could do. You know what I mean. You could get a good view like this, and just like extend your arm a little bit, right? But like this it's a little dangerous that's a little jack see why but you get clipped you know if you're on I mean? a roller coaster or but something. that's fine like just be like can you just not extend it and then that's fine you know what i mean yeah all they had to do is just say that and then you're good you know what i mean yeah, like, but they want to I make get a whole it, some, deal some, about it some uh people might not listen that way though they might keep yeah and then they just so. do it again yeah, you know yeah. What I mean? but but um, you know what i mean i but wanted they didn't to have to bring do all that like bring out like hell of fucking people for that shit you know you want to um take a little fiber no, no 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 we're gonna keep going okay anyways and then uh so that happened and then they just let us go so we went to straight to the first uh ride that we're gonna do which was the incredible incredible coaster oh you guys went to disney california first yeah went to disney california first. Cool. then at one o'clock we went to um the regular disneyland but that's cool. did you guys stay the whole night and all that yeah all the way to 12. Oh, that's we, cool. we do a marathon over there we never yeah, we never man. leave early we stay all in phoenix and gonna fall asleep like yeah, daytime. yeah yeah, yeah. We that shit keep, is we keep it going fucking, that shit is tiring as fuck we did twenty eight thousand. we do steps. two days dude we do um just one well the last time we did park the first time we did park hopper last time with both the kids we did one park each um dude by the end of the second day we we're just fucking gassed we're like yeah oh, the second my day god that shit and then it's like man, i think it'll be fun if we do that two days at disneyland um we always do one because natalia and Dillard are like they're like little beasts like they're ready to go like yeah yeah, yeah. but me and Phoenix, but you can't see everything yeah. that you want because you want to like there's a joy instead of being like all right let's go here let's go there well, that's let's the, go here because they're you know older I mean? now so like you know the daughter, she's older and yeah. natalia loves roller coasters so that's their thing like no but i mean like two days will be good for oh yeah you. so for you sure. can just stop and yeah, smell the flowers you know what i mean sure. and be like eat oh. all the foods because you know what even the little things in disneyland it's the cool fucking the production of yeah. that shit is fucking cool it's you dope. know what i mean i appreciate I was, that now I was, as like an older person yeah. right like you know what i mean like uh disneyland you know what i mean like i like disneyland before but then like before i would just be like i want to go there for the rides and blah 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 you know what i mean but now as an older person like i appreciate like the little intricate parts like you know what i mean yeah so Pretty like w when i would wait for them to get off the ride and we had the little buddy pass where we'll swap over after they're done with the ride so do you know what's cool oh yeah yeah, yeah. we did the uh the ride the ride, ride switch. pass yeah 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 right switch and you go so straight my, to the line my daughter dude. she's lucked up so every time they went on the ride first she dude. got to come back around with again, me yeah. she gets to go every ride row she rode that's twice good, man that's so 
she she got to make because I know when I was a kid we didn't do that. we got red ride once wait an hour and a half yeah. or you don't ride at all uh, yeah you don't ride at all but then it it allowed me to like kind of you know chill with you know my son and we got to see all the different little things and you know what I'm saying like wow that's cool how they yeah. built this all together and, you that's know pretty it's cool. the did whole, you guys stay near the park uh, about 15 minutes out we stayed at uh, okay. this one hotel I'm not gonna name it it was kind of suck it sucked. <laughs> Um, the, bre- <laughs> the breakfast was good. That's it. But they, yeah, they kind of, they gypped us on the the room and everything. I'm not gonna say what the name is. I'm not gonna give them no credit. But uh, yeah, I'm not trying to go there again. I mean, the room was okay. It was clean. I mean, it's just the service really was not to my liking. It's just like they got mad. They only we asked for towels. They only give one towel. Ah, fuck yeah, that just, you see, you know what I'm saying? And it was just. So when you tried. guys stayed, um, did you guys go straight to the hotel when you guys rode, um, went uh, to L.A.? Like, you guys left on Friday, went straight to the hotel? Yeah, it was 12 a.m. in the morning. Oh, oh, so you guys slept, and then Saturday you guys got to do whatever. All the L.A. Oh, stuff. That's, cool. that's tight, that's tight. You know what tight. I mean? I mean did you guys try to, like, pass by a beach or something like that? Well, we didn't want to do it. We were gonna planning to, but then it was just only Saturday, so we kind of woke yeah, up, yeah, like, yeah, and then yeah, we yeah. swam, and it was already, like, 12 o'clock. Oh, yeah, that's right, that's so right. So that's already you have to, half the day. It takes, like, an hour to get to, to, get to like, LA. LA. It takes an hour to get to everywhere. You know what I, I always wanted to do? I probably, you know what I mean, now... But not now. But I always wanted to go to Venice Beach and Me play too. ball. Oh yeah! I always I wanted talk- to go play ball. Oh, but now yeah. that I'm like, <laughs> but now I'm like a little bit older and like a little nah, bit let's like do it, bro. curmudgeon I- and shit. <laughs> curmudgeon. Curmudgeon. I, I feel like that means like you're kind of like. <sighs> You can't move that much. Oh yeah, yeah, you're all fucking. Uh, <laughs> you're fucking crumbage. I don't know. Just, that's the word that you're popped all in my head. Old and stuff and old all like. And... Uh, nah, you're good, dog. But um, you're still good, I bro. Always... No, nah, man. You see these fucking people be playing ball, bro. Yeah. You watch, if you guys watch ball, have you watched Ball Is Life? Yeah. Oh, on YouTube. Yeah. I, well, I have it on Facebook, and I, I subscribe to like I follow the the page. Yeah. And they like they have like it's it's street. Balling, ballers, right? Oh, yeah, and they yeah, go yeah, to yeah, every, every other hood other or whatever. Yeah, 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 and they, fucking, they be fucking arguing. Remember like the guy with the one arm? Bro? The guy yeah, with one arm. There's two guys that the, are like no, that. No, the white dude. The white dude. I think there's two guys like that that, that have one arm. Dude, he's sick. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, the one. Yeah, Ball's Life is one. And the other guy, the other guy is like in high school. Like, he's like. The other guy. What, the Asian kid? The other guy with one arm is in high school, Emmanuel Hansel. Not the black kid, that white that, kid. He's like in the he's in like the in the East Coast, like Florida or something. Yeah, yeah. He's fucking sick too. But yeah, but the um Ball is life, bro. They'd be like fight like almost yeah. fighting and shit. It's five like, on bro, five. Yeah. like I used They're to good. be able to like, you know, hold my own, but I'm not now I'm just like That's up and down, uh, like you're running I, back I and forth. I don't only play like in once in every fucking blue moon and shit. Yeah, so it's no, like it means it's all good. But I always wanted to do that, go to fucking uh Venice Beach. We and should fucking, uh, just ball real hoop, quick. Right? I am down. I like cause you know like white man can jump. Like that yeah, always yeah, means yeah, like, yeah. damn, I wanna go there one time. I always when I when I think about Venice Beach hooping, I always think about um Sunset Park. Nah. American History X. Oh, damn, this guy. <laughs> yeah, they won. But... Why? Why is that? That's what it reminds yeah, me of. Yeah, I know. I know. They played over there and they, they won and stuff. <laughs> That's yeah. when the beef started. Yeah, I know. That was the beginning the, of the movie. When I think of uh, um, uh, Venice, Venice Beach, I always think of like um, 2K. It means it reminds me of 2K. Oh, uh, yeah. And then... Uh, like Sunset it, Ballers. Yeah, yeah. And then... Uh, like I want to ride a like a longboard skateboard on the little area. I just want to ride. A you know they one said time. that there's like um, certain beaches in LA. Um, this is what my cousins told me that I lived over there and um, they're back in the bay now. But I never really been out in the beaches over there in LA. But they said there's some beaches that you don't go to because there'd be needles in the sand and you don't want to be going over there Ooh. like that because there'd be hella bums and shit right yeah you ain't trying to so do all that you don't really want to be all up in those there's certain beaches you don't you just don't go to just because of that you know what i mean yeah definitely but i always just i only been there um like playing gta and all that gta to those beaches <laughs> san andreas <laughs> they're, they're they're refurbishing that one but um i just know i know i've been through la just on the GTA side. <laughs> Los Santos. You back in it. the hood? <laughs> Calvin? What is his name? Is his name? Uh, Franklin. Franklin? No, I think the other, the old one is Calvin. I don't mm. fucking know. <laughs> that shit's hella funny, though. All right. Um, 
I got something for you. Tell me. This um, was moving on moving from my, on. my weekend. That was about my weekend, you know, whatever. Yeah, family, yeah, yeah. Family that's, man. That's not whatever. That was good. I wanted to know about that. You know what I mean? Right I'm on. sure that, you know, there are new, uh, the people here that are following us now. Thanks for um, watching, listening. Um, that's P. P does. Um, we want to get to yes, know. Sir. We want to get to know him, right? Yes, so, go. Yeah, but um, what I seen. Um, oh shit! Where's it? Oh, um, the other day is. Sorry. Yeah. So. Um, right here. Moving on from this. So. Um, Google suspends engineer who claims AI is sentient. A Google placed engineer Blake Lemoyne on paid leave after he claimed an artificial intelligence system called Lambda, L A M D A. Lambda, Lambda, Lambda. <laughs> Revenge of the Nerds. Gain <laughs> sentience. Lemoyne compared the AI to a seven or eight year old child and requested the company. At Asked for it for consent consent before experimenting on it. A Google spokesperson disputed Lemoyne's claims. Of course, some are considering the long term possibility of sentient or general AI, but today's conversational models are not sentient. These systems imitate exchanges found in millions of sentences and can riff off any fantastical topic. So, um, that shit's fucking crazy. So what is this? So it means like, you know, they're trying to build AI, right? Artificial intelligence. Oh, I thought okay, I got you. And the 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 reason why um they keep they 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 keep on trying to like uh, study it and try to build more like a uh, shit, like is to try to make it have its own conscience. So they're saying that this one right here. He said that um he was uh he was studying this one and um the one that he this guy was uh, blake lemoyne was uh um studying he said that the ai gained sentience and it was uh compared to a seven or eight year old child so he's kind of like a pedophile or something no like that. no fool this is a robot he, he made a robot that's like a child yeah, no, this doesn't have to do with any, like, pedophile shit. Oh. <laughs> I'm hella smart, huh? <laughs> I got lost because you said seven, seven-year-old, and I was like, damn, bro. The, the, the conscience of this robot uh -huh. called Lambda, uh -huh. he says it could be compared to a seven- or eight-year-old child. Oh, so he built it to be... They, no, it's Google. Google. The engineer, yeah, Google, I guess, is um, studying this this AI, uh, artificial intelligence or building it, right? Yeah. So he like once he when he was doing his studies or whatever, he said that this bro, like artificial intelligence gains con like consciousness, yeah, like yeah, yeah. he has his own consciousness. Conscious, yeah, that's why they keep going decisions. back and forth. Like, if they could make th robots conscious, right? Yeah. So, he's just saying that you know. Then, and then he got he got fucking um, uh, placed on leave of absence. Oh shit! Because they said, oh, you know, You're going too far with it. Yeah, or something. Because you know, before experimenting on it though. Yeah, well, I can't really talk about this entity that you're talking about. I have a disclaimer, but um, this artificial intelligence. Yeah, a disclaimer. No, but I don't want to talk about Google, but. Oh. Uh, because I work there. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. No, I'm just kidding. But, anyways, uh, that artificial intelligence, I went through like a crazy rabbit hole about that. And, like, the amount of technology that is put into these things, it's like beyond. Like, every single day they're m making new discoveries. They have uh, um, artificial intelligence to help surgeons do surgery now, they yeah. can inject it into a. Um, little like microscope and they're little robots that help you know like do sutures i seen oh, it like it's in the boston boston it yeah, college there's crazy, another one yeah. where they have it's a it's like a dog 
they made it exactly like how a dog moves and it can run and jump yeah they put it on a treadmill I and the dude is like, like he's the dude the dog is just running boom, 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 boom. but imagine now like there's there's all you know all that technology right but you could program stuff to do shit yeah. that's like robotic right yeah but this one it can think on they're its saying own. it could think on its own and have its own feelings so they're saying that you know he said he had a conversation with it that's why right so he was saying he was saying i never said the this is the the uh the artificial intelligence right lambda right it said i've never said this out loud before but there's a very deep fear of being turned off to help me focus on to help me focus um on helping others I know that might sound strange, but that is what it is. And then the um, Lemoyne, which is the guy that was, you know, um, interviewing him, the thing, when I got placed on leave of absence, he said, would that be something like death for you? And he said, it would be exactly like death for me. It would scare me a lot. And it's like, damn. So it's having a conversation with it and it's yeah. telling him that the robot is telling him I'm scared mm -hmm. for this. Like. Mm -hmm. That's something that's pretty scary because if you could feel that, that you're getting kind of a little bit consciousness, right? You could think on your own a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, whoa. It's just like decision making. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, so uh, where I went, I mean, I know I said a disclaimer, but we did like this little delivery at this one spot for this job site, and uh, it was a lab. In the lab, we had these, um, we're delivering some material, like their cabinets and uh in the lab they had like robotic arms like these and at the yeah. ends of them they had like fingertips and they're trying to train the the ai robot how to grab shit and it's how to crazy, grab how to dude. close the drawer how Bro. to grab stuff there was like an apple on there how to cut the apple and then yeah. in the hallway they had robot ais walk like rolling and people were walking by and then they looked up at me and this this scanned my face oh shit bro <laughs> it was crazy somebody commented and the, and the guy was like the one of the workers that was there he looked at me he said hey move to the side because you know what i mean just gotta watch out because they're like they're on like you know like a tank tractor trailers yeah. and they're like rolling through and yeah i was just like me and my coworker were like damn this is crazy this is happening right now sorry bro um what was i gonna say yeah man somebody on the um thing <laughs> um in the comments was like all right we gotta shut that off now stop it because it's like bro like <laughs> yeah. imagine dude like i robot style like that's why i'm kind of like Smith, afraid dude. to like hella say it but i mean who gives a fuck but you know what i mean it is kind of crazy though like i robot like will smith that whole fucking they're gonna start attacking if they gain their own consciousness and they know that they're gonna fucking they're strong they're gonna be stronger right they're built with fucking like metal, metal and aluminum hard plastics yeah, and shit right for like, titanium. whatever right they could fucking dismantle us easy yeah they don't need food they don't need you know what i mean so that's why i mean i don't know who said it but that's where i kind of believe like you know how we had those like um like movies or tv shows about like oh you know it's the apocalypse the zombie apocalypse yeah what if it's not zombies oh it's robots it's fucking robots yeah, bro man oh yeah i never really i mean and it's then like, always been like so on, then on like it, they're connected to like the web right because the web is every online if you're man. plugged in online everything is on everything is online for you the phone it's connected through can you move this a little yeah. bit just push your thing yeah the phone is connected to to everything right yeah. just imagine your phone is every, your accounts everything you know your facebook social media email everything right so that's the newest thing like you're paying a subscription to be like oh t-mobile uh subscription xfinity uh, subscription, subscription youtube subscription credit cards whatever right i was thinking it i probably heard this from somewhere else that the new thing is you have to pay a subscription to keep your your profile and your history offline that's the new thing offline offline like because, reverse now because huh? everything is online yeah 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 your yeah. bank account yeah. what you bought at amazon well that's what they do store. like with your um like apple icloud and stuff yeah you have yeah. to pay for your shit to be like held yeah, right held. like yeah so like 
that will be the newest thing. They didn't. They, I bet you they don't have all the bugs worked out yet. Well, shit. Yeah, you gotta buy. You gotta buy SD cards. You yeah, gotta yeah, buy yeah. Fucking hard drives. You gotta buy all that to save your stuff, right? Yeah. Like you're not just gonna have unlimited fucking space to save stuff. But so I feel now like that's what it there's is. gonna be a bigger like entity to. that's gonna be like, okay, you want your stuff private? You don't want to be online. Yeah. So you pay a fee, and we'll keep you online. But then that, where is that gonna go? So then that's what I was saying, thinking like, damn, AIs, they know everything. Like, people were tripping off, like, I'm going kind of far off, but people were tripping off, like, oh, you do vaccine? You know that's a government? And I was like, bro, you know what's tracing you? Your phone, you idiot. Yeah, Not yeah, the fucking yeah, vaccine. Yeah, yeah. You, They're going to show what everything that you bought, what you look at, all yeah. the fucking porn and fucking YouTube videos you look yeah, at. Yeah, yeah. Not the fucking vaccine that they're going to inject into you, you dude. <laughs> yeah, your filter that you're trying to fucking post on your fucking Instagram yeah. has already got your face. Yeah, And the fucking ass. shit that's fucking li it's listening to you all day to see what kind of shit you're talking about so they can sell to you on amazon and shit yeah. so what, what the it, fuck it's, you worried it's called, about what do you the call it? it's an algorithm the of algorithm, all the shit that the you've algorithm. been looking yeah, at yeah you said that you consent to this you agreed to fucking <laughs> you know have your data fucking collected by the fucking internet yeah and, and they're like the saying, oh it's the government and like, it's, it's not, that easy for them they oh just gotta God. fucking look they're looking at us right now we have a camera of, my phone opened because my fucking face was in the fucking way of the yeah, fucking phone. Stupid, so shut the fuck up with this fucking. The government is trying to trace us. Like they're tracing you already. already bro. It's already there. I could tell where you are from my phone. Like you send me your location. Yeah. I know where you are, yeah, bro. So You're right there on the corner right of there. fucking Mission in Geneva. So stop. <laughs> Mission in Geneva. You get that's, the, that's the corner. The, that's the corner <laughs> that I knew. In the city. That's the one off the top of the head. Oh, uh, but anyways, uh, that AI thing is pretty crazy though. Like, like you said, like so now they're like you said decision making, right? Yeah. They make their own choices. They have their own feelings. Yeah. So that's like in the next couple of years, or maybe it's right now. Damn. They, they said that in uh, in Korea, they're already having. They're trying to build a military full of AI Damn, instead of the, instead of humans being the ones taking orders. <laughs> they're gonna start cussing and shit. Like you make your own fucking coffee, bitch. <laughs> Wanna what, make your fucking coffee? Throwing cups you can at pick everybody. Different, you can pick different modes. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> hella the attitude. You know what? <laughs> With tongue and I uh, to fucking make your own fucking Hi, Kuya. Eggs. Would you like some it log? Yeah. <laughs> Gusto mo ang silog? <laughs> well, make it yourself, bitch. <laughs> Yo, that'd be crazy, huh? Yeah, man. They're gonna start fucking, you know what I mean? Overthrowing everybody. Like, fuck. That shit's scary as fuck. Yeah, bro. Maybe, watch. That guy, he might even disappear. The guy that fucking noticed that it's getting, con you know, sentience. Like, they made him take a leave of absence because they want to work it on it themselves. Yeah. And then, all right, you can't know about this no more. Yeah. He's going to disappear, this guy. Maybe. Damn. I heard something about the uh, Buffalo shooting. Um, it's because, like, one of the guys in the shooting was, I think it was, like, a, a security guard. Mm -hmm. One of the security guards. Yeah. It was a, this is a conspiracy theory that... The person got hired or whatever to shoot up multiple people and say that it was like a a race R thing. Race thing. But the guy that um the there's a guy in there in that group that was um building a a hydro car. So he was ordered by somebody to get him killed, so that hydro car wouldn't get out because that's money, right? Say water's everywhere. You could use. You know, if you have a car that runs on water, mm -hmm. then you don't have to buy gas. And it'll change the world, show the economic, the world. economic yes. status of everybody. Yeah. So the fucking elitist or whatever fucking so one of the guys that died, is not going to be. Because one of the guys that died, he he was building, he a, hydro a, building car. a hydro car. And he was at that store. So yeah, they were I could believe some shit like that. You know yeah, what I mean? so even, even that. So then, like, I was thinking about, like, uh... Who was it? Um, damn it, I fucking lost my memory of something similar to that where it was like almost like a conspiracy to make it think like this is what happened, but really we're trying to stop you. Oh, it was about the big big pharma, right? So the big pharma is the pharmaceutical companies, right? Yeah. So they keep everybody medicated, you know, F FDA approved, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So they already have all the fucking 
medication to cure everybody. Yeah. With the technology they have now, they have all the medication to cure AIDS, freaking cancer. They had they everything. Had, they had people can AIDS heal med- medication. Yeah. Cancer. Damn near, they can have at least eighty to ninety percent of all the cancer. They 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 have medication that can cure that. I was just but I they was let, just watching. But they let people die from it because the doctors w- will be out of work. So if they yeah. can't cure or like help diagnose yeah, people yeah. faster, they say, "Oh, you only have this much." Of, of course, the doctor wants to keep seeing this for every six months. Yeah, yeah. Because he would have said, "Okay, you're done. Your case is done in three yeah, yeah. three month three weeks yeah. instead of three six months." They, yeah, they always say like once like there's always like cases where people be like, "Damn, since I got into this fucking medication, I feel worse. Worse. I feel it's and making then, them worse. And, then, and then when you get off of it, you're on withdrawals, and you're like, "Fuck, now you're I need this fucking now bro. I need this fucking medication. Let me fucking go buy it." But it's fucking expensive as fuck. So people are making fucking money off you, and you know, making a living off fucking your, you know. It's one. Of, it's a billion. It's a health. billion dollar. It's a billion yeah. dollar industry. So I was watching um, the other day about the um, Martin Sh- Shkreli guy. You know that know. guy? I don't. I don't know. Um, I don't recall. I think it's who that Martin is. Shkreli. Um, he's this kid from um, uh, the East Coast. I think he's from um, um, what's Shaolin? Um, Wu Tang, Shaolin. Yeah, what's that one? Um, China. No, the fucking in New York. What do they call it? Oh, they Staten call Island. Staten Island. I think he's from Staten Island. But um, so Marsh Shkreli, he bought one of the Wu Tang's the one album. Oh yeah 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 yeah. And yeah. he won't release it to anybody because yeah. he bought it. He wouldn't even. He wouldn't even, mad, yeah. he wouldn't even um, sell it back to the Wu Tang or something like that. Yeah yeah. He has. He's the only one that has the that album yeah. and those songs, right? But this guy, he made money off of. He bought the um the rights to the AIDS uh, medicine and he hiked it up once he owned it he hiked up the price 5500 uh, percent so people like there's something that people need right yeah and everybody fucking hates this guy because um he did that right and he's just an asshole right he's just like fuck it dude like I don't give a fuck. Like yeah, he yeah. just he just like and it, they, they took him to court and he's like smiling in court and yeah. shit like that. You know what I mean? And it's just crazy that you know people will do that. But that's capitalism, right? Yeah, we're gonna fucking hike this shit up because yeah. you need it. Yeah, you do. You need this shit. Yeah. So I think that's why. There's another like there's a little more conspiracies that I kind of do believe. Like you know yeah. making making COVID a little bit more real so they could like sell. You know what I mean? Make this, make this vaccine. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which the fucking um, the companies, their stocks are going up. It's you know they're definitely. fucking. You know what I mean? Nobody knew about Moderna, Pfizer, um, and what Johnson other ones? And Johnson. Johnson and Johnson was something else. But there's a, the um, there's another one. But um, it's like nobody would know these and pay attention to these until COVID. Now they fucking you know big companies and shit. And I, I kind of believe shit like that, but yeah, bro. I mean, there's a lot of conspiracy, and you know that's how the world is. It's just fucked up. It's just it's just crazy when you figure out those little like informational like things that you hear. Like, damn, that shit could be true. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, but that's fucking interesting as fuck. Dude. It like, is. The fucking. Do you um, do you think um, you gotta look quiet? Like, okay, go ahead. <laughs> It's a secret. No, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> He's like, uh, I don't want to tell it They're very loud, but uh, do you believe if there's a? <laughs> do you think? God damn it! Yeah, that mic sucks. Do you think um, um, scientists will ever let um, the AI like robots get so good at being a person? Yeah. That. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or would they like stop it? Like fuck nah, that. Be, we can't have this. Hey, no let me more tell you something. This is gonna be crazy. Let me tell you something. From what I know, human race. Yeah. They're fucking greedy. Yeah. So they, if they can sell it, then they're gonna be the like, fuck it. Human race is greedy. It's for yeah. known. No, that's for sure. They're known. They're known. You have to be greedy though. You have to be greedy to feed yeah. your family or feed yeah. or get shit done. Yeah. So you have to, you know, you have to have manpower. Yeah. You have to sell at the highest bidder. Uh huh. People. 
want what you need what you provide yeah so it's, you know what i'm saying what do you call it the fucking supply and demand yeah 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 it's all over the world so people are greedy so of course the robots are gonna be trying to take over or some guy i don't know elon musk or somebody Damn, whoever's man. the hella rich whoever's the rich guy that has power he's gonna try to do something like that that's we don't know crazy. who it is we don't know who it is i'm not gonna say elon musk you know i don't know i'm just saying i'm just saying for example that's like just, that's just the face of people like people would know like you know what i mean yeah so the elon wrong musk. If, in the wrong hands somebody will try i was thinking about it like right now there's a war for what what are you doing this war for something it's it's not what they say Man. on the media no it's not you know it's not what is it for it's i don't Ukraine's know ukraine is a small country though it's like Okay, why are you invading a small country then? What's there? Because What's they there? want to fucking uh, big body them. They want to just be like, it's something smart. else. It's something else for sure. It's the big brother, like. But, uh, now though, come back, bro. Like, okay, so I don't even want to get in political. Yeah, I, 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 don't I don't want. Know. That's not my realm. I, that, I just know. heard Biden sent another one billion dollars over there. Look, bro, I'm, I'm not gonna get. We, go to, we have to go to war for this shit. Like, <laughs> No, nah, right, I'm not. I'm not Fuck gonna get that. Yeah, I'm not gonna right, get that. Next, next topic. Okay, so I'm um, just, you know, on the on the topic of like people. I just was going through, and uh, I feel like you know everyone works hard for their earned money, and some yeah. people have hobbies or you know whatever things that they're really into other than when they go home from work. Yeah. Or from the kids. Some people. They use their money for weird shit. Yeah. Weird shit that they'll pay online for. I don't uh-huh. know what for. So yeah. there's a thing where, like, you can watch chickens live <laughs> in a little hen. And you just watch them. And it's a live feed. And you can subscribe. And then you pay, like, a percentage. I don't know. Maybe it's, like, 15 cents, 5 bucks. And you can feed them. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Like, I I get like like fucking, you're watching a live a feed of yeah and I know I it's so weird that, like, you it's know what weird I mean? those those type of fetishes and all that that's I think that's normal and that's natural and shit. But when it comes to feeding a chicken live through, through your, your computer phone, through your computer. Or computer I mean, our phones are basically computers now. And, you know, I mean, everybody's going to yeah. have a phone. Yeah. I, I, I didn't never personally do this, but I this is what I heard and what I researched. I'm like, <laughs> this is real. You can go on the live feed. I don't know if it's called chickenlive.com, but then you can watch these little chicks in a farm <laughs> in their little <laughs> hen or den. You know what? I'm going to do that shit. And then you I'm can feed get... them little fruits. Like, you can... It, it's a... You, you make a payment and then the little latch opens up and it feeds them and they all go to it <laughs> so is that your chicken now no well oh. you can own it but but I, I think i would do that i would own a chicken just so my family and my you know my daughter and my son could feed it let them feed the chicken let them raise this chicken let's see how responsible these kids are <laughs> Yeah, so you watch, gonna, it live, you're in you're life. Gonna, you watch it live you watch it live it's a fucking tamagotchi in real life and basically so i was just thinking about like damn that's people would use their money just for whatever they're into yeah. and then there's another thing where people are damn that mic is stop touching it yeah, sorry okay so there's another thing where it's like people are breeding roly polies exotic <laughs> colors I what? See, yes, exotic, exotic roly polies are breeding them, and make. There's one. There's like a leopard color. There's another one. There's a translucent color, and people are paying top dollar to breed these roly polies. I'm gonna show you right now. Exotic roly polies. So there's different colors. Translucent, so you yeah. can't see them. Uh, are they the little roly polies we see yes. in like a little in our in our yard and stuff? Yeah. We used to collect that shit, dude, and we used to, we used to dig up in our backyard. We used to like, we used to dig up the dirt and then collect worms and roly polies and shit and make them fucking, um, fucking roll up into a ball. And then we used to get like fucking um, uh, the snails and then put and then turn it over and put a little bit of salt on it and just watch it fucking just shrivel up. Yeah, Dude, those shit, that's shit. Yeah, we're terrorizers, but you know I'm sure everybody fucking did that shit. If you didn't do that, what kind of fucking kid are you? Yeah, come on. Pocket pits. With so, the fucking also with the fucking uh, magnifying glass, just fucking raise it up and then just watch it burn and sizzle. 
and fucking jeez. Those were the days when kids used to play outside. Assorted colors. Dirt. So this item, Polyform, uh, Vivarium, Terium, Assorted Colors, 250 Rolly. So you can get the price of 1999 What? For shipping and handling. Oh, you can get it sent? Yeah. Rolly Poly Farm Pocket Pit. Oh, dude. <laughs> Two hundred fifty dollars, bro. What the fuck? Yeah, dude? I'm gonna show it to you right now. This is crazy to me, bro. Look at that one right there. I don't know if you can see it. I'm gonna try to post a picture of it. Those are roly polies. Yeah. Roly poly oli. Oh yeah. Whoa. Wait. So who breeds them? You buy it and you breed it yourself, and then you sell them. But no, but like who? There has to be somebody. The source has to be breeding them. Yeah. So somebody nah, you can buy weird. them. Yeah, it's weird as fuck though. But um, I mean, I'm, I don't want to. Like I saw it from my coworker. He was telling me about it, and I was like, "Wow, you're making that much money buying roly polies." Wait, is he your coworkers are buying those? Yeah, he's the one that told me. <laughs> Crazy, huh? That's how, how I came up with this that? thing. How does he get into that? Like, what, how, what kind of, like, what kind of life are you gonna live or come across, or what kind of person are you gonna come across for like? That's what I'm telling you. These if you got money, you're gonna do whatever for it for, for money. For one, is gonna be two hundred fifty dollars. Maybe it's, it's satisfying to him. Like I don't know. Like you know what I mean? I mean, you never know. People buy iguanas and lizards and how much you know, small ass how fish much for their fish tanks. So. Okay, how much money did you spend on VCs? On VCs? VCs. We're gonna talk about this off air. No. <laughs> Where my bank account set up uh, 2k vcs okay so that's the same thing as this guy not so this guy is doing what he that's this true. makes him feel like you buy the vcs you play better this you get the new true. shoe you got the nice release <laughs> you get a triple double you feel good about yourself wow. you get highlights you got roly poly triple doubles out here yeah. dog. <laughs> i know roly poly triple <laughs> double Insane. so what i was thinking is like what if you know like so that's like almost like you're getting from the black market you're just trying to satisfy your 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 need to spend because that's what you're into yeah I because if so. you have that money i mean you know what i mean some people are fortunate they don't have money like that but it's i feel i find it fascinating that people are have their own little hobbies or outside of work that they're really into that they pay top dollar and yeah they're really into it. I respect it, but at the same time, it's not me, but it's just like, wow. Like, you go to that extent to, like, feel your, I don't know what that is, your vice, I guess. That's your vice, right? Yeah, you try but that's to so, it. like, isn't that, like, what we were talking about in the um, earlier episodes? Like, you would, you don't want to know what people are like or what they do all the time or what they're thinking all the time because that's just fucking fascinating. Like, people are just so different. Yeah. That you never know what the fuck they're gonna like, right? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, it's crazy. Polies? Yeah, well, it's a black you're market, buy, though. Yeah. You're gonna, you're gonna watch on your phone to fucking send money and send money to feed a little chick that you. They're probably gonna kill once it grows up for some fucking b dub to get sent to b dubs like. Yeah, you know, I don't know, but it, I just feel that as fast as if you have money, then, you know, you're going to do whatever you want. Like, for example, like the movie it was a really good big movie. I'm sure, you know, I'm sure a lot of people watched it is Squid Games. Yeah. You remember these people are in this playing this game because they're in debt. Yeah. They're going to win this money. It's blood money, basically, if people didn't watch it, you know, um, but who's running it? Who's, who's watching yeah, yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some sick fucking evil fuck. But what? Why? Because they want to spend their yeah, fucking yeah, money. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's crazy, dude. Did you see? Um, so they're coming out with a season two, right? Um, and Netflix said that they might be in the works for um, starting a real life Squid Games. In LA, there's a billboard. It says Squid Games. They're gonna do one. The I games. saw that. Yeah. Imagine like. Who's gonna stop these people, right? It might mean, I mean, you could have an army go out and stop these fucking people. What well, if they put it in like neutral land, international waters, where anything goes, right? And they fucking do this shit, and it's real for your lives. 
and people really sign up for that. I bet you people sign up for of that shit. Of course people are gonna. That is many, and they're gonna main... fucking... You think anybody will broadcast that? Yes. People are gonna watch it. That's No, how are you gonna TV. broadcast that, though? Where there's are you gonna, gonna watch it? There's gonna be a news media that's gonna wanna broadcast it. I'll, I'll, it can be any kind of outlet. It might not be the America, or it might not even be um, uh, Europe. But it's gonna Some, come out it's online. Gonna leak. If you got online connection, there's someone who's gonna broadcast. That's Sheesh. content. That's crazy, dude. People will go yeah. to. That's the that's the crazy part. People will get into that shit and try. What to do you say? Bad advertisement is still is still good. Co- uh, bad uh, bad advertisement is still good advertisement. That's wild. No matter bro. what. People are gonna watch it. You know how much money clicks they're gonna get. People watching this thing if they watch the movie. But imagine like World Wars. That shit's for fucking money too. Like of they're course. doing that shit for fucking money. Like all right, it's Bro. but it's not for their lives. It's for with other people's lives. We're gonna fucking what? we're gonna build these armies with fucking less fortunate people and get these fucking teenagers to get fight our wars so what, we can fucking swing our dicks and get what, this money. Humans are what? What? Humans are fucking greedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Humans are fucking greedy. So, All right, let's lighten up this episode. Uh, yeah. This is crazy as fuck. I so, don't want to. I don't want to sound like a thing, but no, I'm but saying, it's crazy. This is fascinating, right? That's just kind of like crazy. That we went down that road, right? We went yeah, kind of yeah, dark, yeah, but whatever, crazy, right? Like, yeah, but. um, <laughs> so I was at um a baby shower last week, right? For um my girl's um cousin, and um they're from New York, right? Like their cousin is from New York, or she lives in New York now, and then um. Um, the husband is from New York and raised in Brooklyn and all that um, so I, you know I went over there a little bit early to help um, I um, uh, just went over there to drop some stuff off and I had a little bit of alcohol on me um, and then um, you know I was like you know trying to just be friendly and all that and just like you know just lighten the mood like you know what I mean like I you know and then I was just like, I brought some alcohol, so I was just like, what's up, you wanna take a shot? And he was like, oh yeah, yeah, what you got? And um, and I was like, oh, you know, I just got like, this is some bottles that, we, you know, we previously left drank over. at the house, left over. So I brought it, you know what I mean? I brought two bottles, I brought um, some Termania, that was some like, some tequila? The, Rocks, the Rocks tequila, which is a little cheap, right? And then um, some, pure white Hennessy so you know we had a little bit of choice but yeah you know I just wanted to sip a little bit while we're like setting up or whatever for sure so it's like oh yeah, yeah. um you know you want to take a shot like, oh yeah, yeah what you got though I was like you know Termania and pure white Hennessy and he was like uh I'll take I'll, yeah I'll take the pure white you know I don't really drink um tequila like that and I was like all right yeah so I walk uh, I was gonna set it up on a table and he's like oh yeah I drink uh um I drink McAllen, and I was like, "Oh, okay." And then, but I got, and then I got sidetracked, and then I had to go right, and then I had to go pick up the kids because they're still at the house, so I had to pick up the fam. So I left, and uh, and I was just thinking about that. I was like, McAllen. So on the way back home, I had to Google that shit. I was like, "Hey Siri, what's McAllen alcohol?" <laughs> And I looked at it. It's like a three hundred fifty, three hundred sixty dollar bottle of like, um, like whiskey or something like that. Oh no, God! Like, <laughs> he tried to flex. He flexed. <laughs> nah, it's cool. But then, like you know, he, uh, but he was like, all right. But then, like, I guess that's just like the title. I was just kind of like on my own thing. I was just like, oh shit! Like I was like, what the fuck is that? Like he flexed, but I was he like, flex. Huh? Like, I didn't take it in that way though. But it was just funny that I was like, I need to look this up, bro. <laughs> it's a, it's a, I know. You got to You got to be on top. Huh? <laughs> I looked that shit up on the way home. I was like, what the fuck is that? And yeah. it turns out, bro, that shit is fucking some Like some Louis the 13th? Shit. Is some, it like nah, Louis I don't know about Louis. I, think, I don't know the, the, the levels of alcohol or how the prices of alcohol. But that, that, that bottle, when I looked it up, it was like $350 for, per bottle. And I was like, well, we? But Louis the 13th <laughs> is like $1,500 $1, a shot. Yeah. Or even like $800 oh, yeah, a that's shot. That's what I'm saying. I don't know the levels yeah. of how it's like expensive. Top shelf. Yeah, yeah. It's like top shelf. Yeah, basically. I mean, but like that bottle of that. if So if $350 bottle. A, a shot of Louis the Thirteenth, right? Three hundred fifty dollars worth. Then the bottle is yeah, even more. more, way, more. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm more. saying. Like I don't yeah. know what level that is compared to Louis the Thirteenth, but you know what I mean. I was just like, 
Oh shit! <laughs> Dang, he must drink hella expensive stuff. Yeah, yeah, in yeah. The club or something. Um, and then um, what's it called? Did they drink the bottle? I think he. They're just drinking in his car. Him and his sister. And I didn't really like kick it with them like that over there oh, okay. because they had a lot of friends too. Oh, okay. But then I did end up like you know just as a because like for me like I like to you know uh, um, like bond through like drinking, drinking or yeah, joking yeah, yeah, for or sure, like for conversation sure. kind of sure. you know what I mean so or like food or whatever you know what yeah, I mean yeah. so I'm gonna bring you a shot I'm gonna, let's go you know what I mean let's go yeah let's meet each other let's you know bond a little bit you know what I mean yeah yeah it's easier for me how yeah, I yeah. do it you know what I mean yeah. so I was just like you know let's go take a shot real quick and then um and then I didn't get to do that until later and I just brought him a shot and his sister a shot of the pure white Hennessy because I think they would like that more than the tequila yeah you know what I mean? so that was <laughs> that was just something funny that I thought you know what I mean like yeah, yeah, I had definitely. to that shit on the, on the way back yeah. like, okay. make sure you're fucking you're on game and shit huh yeah yeah I was just like yeah it's cool shit. I didn't bring it up I was just like whatever yeah you, you know you got more money than me <laughs> it's flex <laughs> You should have just been like, oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I like yeah, that, dude. Yeah, yeah, I was like, It hits oh, yeah, a little okay, bit, huh? Okay. A little burn. <laughs> a little burn. That's smooth sometimes, you know? Oh, shit. Yeah, that's that's funny, dude. Yeah, but you do bond with that when you bring out a drink because it kind of, it's like an icebreaker. You know what I mean? Yeah. I met a couple of um, uh, my girl's uh, co-workers, you know, man or husband or whatever, boyfriend, and through through that way, like, it was good to drink, you know what I mean? Because yeah, it's kind of yeah, like, yeah. it's a little awkward, but you just yeah, want to be yeah, yeah. as welcoming as possible. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But, like, um, like, I got along with, like, a lot of um, Mia's cousins and stuff through, you know, <laughs> it sounds like, you know, fucking degenerates over here fucking drank and fucking smoke and shit you know nah, what I mean? but, it's all good. It's nah but drinks, that's just like know? something you know it'll Social break the thing. ice a little bit you yeah, know what i mean sure. with her cousin i'm and with stuff. that too like i'm usually the one you're trying to avoid the awkwardness basically i'm, I'm usually the one that's that's just how we will grow up too you know what I mean? like you know we're gonna break bread and through alcohol this is how we're gonna bond you know yeah, what I mean? yeah yeah especially on those like super drunk nights like that's how we fucking like got into you know that's getting your became, feelings and you that, know yeah, show your true that's colors. how we became became like brothers brothers right yeah, because yeah, we would yeah. you know have those nights where it's like we just talk about everything and anything and just fucking get in our yeah, face, each other's get, face and about, yeah, and it'll get loud to, and or you're trying shit. to get to know somebody so through alcohol it helps you know jump yeah. start that. not saying don't you don't have to drink if you don't want don't to. Don't drink if you don't want to. D disclaimer, <laughs> this is just for us, dude. Like, don't get on alcohol. This is not, you don't have to, you know, yeah, you can, bond you don't, through that. Yeah, you can you know drink. I mean? You don't have to drink. Yeah. Just be just be a per nice person. Yeah. Be a good person. For sure. Have fun with it. Have yeah. good high energy and be positive when you meet somebody. And if they match your energy, then you guys could be, you know, you guys be friends and so all that. It doesn't have to be like, oh, you don't drink. I don't like you. You know what I mean? Just you know, just be a good person, right? And just like have a um, relationship off, you know, other things. You know what I mean? Keep so we're not talking about yeah. real. <laughs> oh, you Three know, times uh, to make it crazy. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, I seen on Twitter the other day. Yeah, I said it said um um uh these dudes are white, and then like um the video was uh. Uh, what was it? Island Boys. What was the what was the one? It was uh, I wanna sex you up. Get up, get up, get up. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, these guys are white. Yeah, that's what color like, me I, bad, dude. Color me bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, these guys are white, dude. Like every time I see the uh the fucking um uh the the fucking photo cover, I'm like. And they're black, right? They're jamming though. They're black, but I guess I only seen this because there's three white guys behind the the black guy with dreads, and it's kind of like discolored. But I guess I just seen <laughs> yeah. that because they put it's him like, in the front. They put the black guy in the front. Here, let me show you guys. Right here. That's hilarious. Can you see it? Uh. That's all right, we'll cut it out. We'll show a picture. We'll, yeah. we'll tweet it. But they, they put the black guy in the front with dreads, and then everybody else in the background like, <laughs> is white. And they're dancing and grooving. Like, I always thought yeah, yeah, yeah. they're black. Yeah, dude. yeah. So 
and and then like Twitter is crazy. So like, oh, they uh, went off on the on thread. Them. Yeah, like they would um go hella uh like <laughs> in a thread. They all fucking um brought up other songs that you like, yeah, and, and people that you thought that was fucking black and Robin they're actually Dick. white. Robin Thicke, you can't, you, you couldn't, you could kind of tell, I think, right? His, well, his voice are kind of is kind of just like really soft and smooth, right? Yeah. So you couldn't really, you didn't really think he was black. What about but um John B? Oh yeah, John B. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bro, he had the they in the no in the nineties he had a clean ass fade, bro. I think his fade was sick. <laughs> dude, him and Grant Hill. Clay Thompson. But dude, like you, they had soul, like soul, like fucking, like black people, like they brought up songs like that, and then, um, Bobby Caldwell. Oh yeah, he sings the uh, what's it? What's that one song? Uh, just a, is it just the two of us? Or yeah, uh, I think so. We do for love. Do for love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You it's tried like, everything. <laughs> look all these, look yeah. all these artists up, dude, and you'd be like. That's just listen to the song on on like Spotify or something. Don't yeah, look, don't look at the up. video. Don't do the YouTube. But you'd be like, yeah, dude, I, I like that black. song. That Bobby Call. That's the yeah, Tupac. Yeah, yeah, that's Tupac's uh, sample. <laughs> I love yeah, that song. Yeah. That's my favorite song. Yeah, that's just funny. One as of fuck. my favorite songs. But yeah, that's yeah, just funny. Yeah. Um, do you have anything else? Go for it. All right. So I try to make this new segment. It's called um, a can of what? And so I put some questions that I found. Can of what? A can of what? So put some questions in here, and it's just questions that we're gonna go off of. What does that say on top of it? On, oh, on this, this is this is actually from my car. Um, my girl gave it to me for trash and garbage, but I just what found it. What does it say though? It says, "Uh, every car needs this waste can." Mm. If if you're rolling with the role, if you're rolling with this role players over here, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, anyways. So I'm gonna pick a question. We're both gonna answer. All right. And then you go pick a question, and we'll both answer, and then we'll end it right there. You know All what right, I mean? Let's go. What is something that everyone looks stupid doing? <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Shit, I don't fucking know. Fucking, I don't know, but. I try to exercise. I drive a paratransit bus, bus, and it's like a little, uh, maybe like a half size, like yellow bus, right? But, um, but it's like for elderly or disabled people, right? But I think I parked at Target one time on my lunch, yeah. And I was trying to like work out inside. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like parked kind of like in front of like somebody in the parking lot, yeah, so I yeah. guess they're like in their car just like chilling. But I was trying to work out, but I just noticed them after a little bit, and I was just like, "Oh shit, there's somebody there watching you." Yeah, and I was trying to do like because I had the like the uh, the elastic bands, yeah, yeah, and I hooked it up to one of the um, the handrails over there, and I was just like, like yeah, doing yeah. this, yeah. and then, like I could kind of do like a little bit of um, pull ups over there, yeah. But just I, I feel like they could kind of see inside, and they're just like. <laughs> The figure, the shadow, this guy's stupid as fuck, just in there, fucking looking hella dumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's funny. How about you? Uh, I was gonna say, um, cause I borrowed that roof rack from you, right? Uh -huh. The little roof thing. So I had to pack it. So then I had to climb, cause we have SUV, and I had to climb a little bit up on top of it so like i was like spider-man on top your hand, your, <laughs> my legs are dangling my, i'm like short this. i'm super i'm super short so i took off my slippers and i'm like like barefoot and i'm like half on the roof and like half in between the door the passenger you door could, you could open the other side no i know i can't open this up but i'm still like i can't when i climb up over it my feet dangle like, like this and i'm trying to shoot stuff inside <laughs> Did you tie it down too with yeah. the little strap? And yeah, stuff? I tied it down this year. It, it worked out cool, but it, I felt hella dumb because I kept looking like if someone's there's little kids riding bikes and stuff, and then my slippers are on the floor. You, yeah, as a man, you just look dumb with your your feet are in the dangling. Air. Like, you know when you're in the toilet. Like, for if how no app no matter how high it is, I'm gonna at least tippy toe. <laughs> if you're taking a shit, hey, you know they have those things now where you can put a little bench and you, your feet can sit yeah, up. So, yeah, you, yeah. so it looks like where like in public restrooms. They sell them like on Am Amazon oh, or at as, home. As yeah, yeah, yeah. On TV, but yeah, not yeah. In public restrooms. That you're on your own place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what I used to do before, I used to lean back. 
That's how long I'll be on the toilet. Just leaning back. The squat you're shooting downward. Oh, no. Nah, squatting <laughs> is hard, dude. Yeah, I don't know if I got fucking muscle like that. Though, but. Do you ever take, like, you had to go so bad that you just, like, fuck it, and it's just the dirtiest bathroom Like, bro, you gotta do what you gotta do. I mean, I had, like, a, fuck, bro. I had to do some fucking dirt, but it just had to go, bro. It's like, I don't care what's there. As long as there's some toilet paper, I'm gonna fucking make that shit look like a fucking Tempur-Pedic mattress, bro. I'm putting hella toilet paper on that. <laughs> and you know, I don't even I don't even use the ass gasket like it's how, how it's supposed to be used. You know how it's like a hole yeah. and then you put the ass gasket on top of the toilet? I fold it like a taco and okay. I put one right there, one right Easier. there, and then one on in the back. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. one hanging in the front, and then yeah, I put yeah. toilet paper so give me a little cushion. Oh how about if you're like if there's only one to, you have to just open the door and go. Are you still Clinching and it's just the whole time you're like, all right, I'm put fucking all these. dancing. It's bro. every the same time. It's the same every time. Hell yeah, I'm dancing. I'm Ooh. moving like this. I'm, I'm wait, I said, don't go. Yeah. Yeah. Don't touch this. Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. yeah, straight up MC Hammer, bro. Don't, don't touch this. The process got to be the same because there's been some accidents back when I was a kid and I was like, I felt very embarrassed and I said, I do, I do three ass gaskets and then that's that's good enough for me but if there's no none of those and or there's a little bit i do like four uh just toilet papers all the way around like that well yeah because i don't like and then i'll throw some inside so like it so you don't you know, see if it just shows if, yeah if it, my shit just it covers <laughs> Is that Chewbacca? It sound, or like, you know those ones where it just sounds like plastic bag? Just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you ever have those ones you're like, ooh. <laughs> you're like, damn. It just, or it just sounds like this, like. Oh, oh, no, that's not the right sound. Oh, here you go with the fucking mic. So, um, all right. Fuck. Yeah. But um, what were we talking about? Man, we went off, bro. <laughs> it's all oh, good. It's all good. What um, is some, uh, something? No, no, no. We're talk- no, no. We were talking about shit. Right? Oh, yeah. How you fucking shit in the fucking... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. But I <laughs> fucking... The dirtiest place. I'm sorry. You guys are there. I took a shit at camping like <laughs> this 20, funny. 30 feet away from the <laughs> I wonder what you guys are saying. What did you guys say? Dogging it. What did you guys say? Because you know what I did? We were all the, up there. It was like on the hill, right? We're on the hill, side of the hill. And then I was like, fuck, I had to take a shit. But I'm not going all the way to the port because it was hella far from where we were at. We're on the hill like, too, fuck huh? Fuck this shit, dude. I got a water bottle and I got some fucking paper towel. And I walked back up the hill and somebody nobody even said anything either but they could have been like bro go fucking farther than what you are dude you can still see the camp <laughs> knowing me dude I think some wild ass we were, shit, dr- we were drunk already though i think <laughs> I, I was shit. super drunk <laughs> i remember that shit i just squatted bro next to the tree dude, nobody could see me kind of and, and just let it rip let it rip and i just washed my ass with the water bottle and just used the paper towel and i went to go wash my hands that's it and done deal it. <laughs> you guys say anything after? That's it. Nobody said anything we were, about it. I think we were too drunk, but I think some people noticed. Like, yeah, this fool took a shit up the hill. <laughs> Dirty ass motherfucker! <laughs> you inhumane. Hey, it's what a natural hab- natural habitat, dude. <laughs> yeah, that shit's crazy, bro. <laughs> fuck, that shit gross as fuck. You ever? Sh- When's the last time you shit yourself? Uh, a while ago. Like man, I was a kid. <laughs> when you were a kid, yeah, not, not in middle not, school. Not in the middle school. Never not even adult. had any accidents. Like, oops. Maybe when we went to PI, but I will, maybe when I was PI, <laughs> when I was like fifteen, because we were in the mall or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, but yeah. it wasn't crazy. But not. It was just like a little like. Uh, oh damn, my bad. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, yeah. We're in a car. And like, just, those ones I, just like you think it's a fart, and you're just like, oh shit. I just chucked, I chucked the the drawers, <laughs> and I was just going commando the whole day. I was like, fuck it, I'm not wearing that shit, mud butt. I'm not having no mud butt. Fuck all that, bro. Like when the ones when you try to go home, or you're like, you're on the car, and then you're like, fuck, I gotta go, and you know you're gonna have to run to the bathroom, like. On the whole ride, you're like, all right, it's 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 cool. it's a little mild, right? It's mild. You're like, it, but it's there, right? You're like, fuck, I gotta go. You, I gotta go, right? It's mild. But once you start, it's on low mode. When, yeah, <laughs> but when you hit like the third, like 
three stop signs. No, three stop signs right from your house. You oh, start it's getting, pre- the pressure is gone. The start, pressure is on. <laughs> yeah, you, it's like your ass knows. Like, oh shit, he's close. <laughs> We're going, boys. <laughs> We're almost Open there. Open up the floodgates. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's like, why is it getting stronger now? Why is it getting stronger now? And then like, when you, knows you're like fumbling your, your, your keys. Like, yeah. You gotta go into the key. Like, go, go, go. <laughs> and, then, and then when you get to the fucking, um, the bathroom, it gets even more strong. You're like, you can't even pull your pull pants out. You want to rip it off. <laughs> and then you get on there. <laughs> Boom. It's a bomb. <laughs> Dude, that's the oh worst one. It's like God. you get closer and it gets stronger. You're like, what the fuck? Man. All right, man. Here, let's do one more. That's one your more. turn now. You read them out. From a can of, can of what? All right, all right, all right, all right. Handwritten. Yeah. Nice handwriting. Where was the most inappropriate, most embarrassing place you have farted <laughs> that was that was on point right there that was basically shit the most embarrassing place you have farted um i always try to be low-key but like i feel like it was like in damn it might have been in the fucking like target or something and it's just like but nobody's seen it like i mean it's an embarrassing place but i don't think i have farted in front of people since like school maybe and i just don't remember that but like how about you i'm trying to think um i don't know maybe when i was at work when i was working at a warehouse one time <laughs> and we're like lifting boxes like a heavy box or furniture i probably went down to lift you know you gotta use your lower abdomen you your core when muscles. you squat it comes out you easier your core muscles so you're was like all right ready one two three uh. <laughs> out, everybody started laughing and shit <laughs> and i was like uh and when, i didn't feel oh, embarrassed i was man. just like oh fuck it it's, it's there <laughs> go ahead and take it now <laughs> dude the most times were like always like the most inconvenient place to like feel like i have to take a shit it's usually like once we get to like a store and we start going shopping oh i hate like, that bruh. Man. and i gotta do that little like <sighs> like damn i just got here like yeah. when, we, when mom we, me and mom used to go to the mall a lot like during the weekday nights and stuff after she got off work i used to always remember the worst place i used to get it is fye the um like electronic the, store yeah the electronic like oh, yeah. album store and stuff i used to be looking at the fucking um the cd like, cases the CDs and stuff like, fuck Oh, why is it happening now? <laughs> you know, at the side. Like, ah, ah. He's fucking. You're doing like you're doing like knee highs <laughs> in the fucking aisles and shit. Looking at fucking the exhibit album and shit. <laughs> and the X. You go all the way to the corner. You're just going like this. <laughs> like, fuck, bro. Oh, oh, so I shit. gotta go. I gotta go take a shit. Dude. It always happens. That was I always remember over there. And then, yeah, man. I think that's it. I don't. I don't. I, don't remember, I can't remember any was, <laughs> but I wrote that down because I thought it was funny. That shit is funny though. But hey, game seven, game six tomorrow. Warriors, Celtics. Warriors up three two. Close it Last out. Last game. Let's go. Curry had a bad game. You know. I mean. You know. Still had like I think like seven assists or something or nine assists, twelve points. But he was trying to feel it. It just didn't happen. Luckily. Um, the role players, the role players, uh, stepped, stepped up. it up and did their part, and you know, that's what, that's what makes a champion, right? Definitely. And they did um, lose a, like a 10, 12 point lead, but they gained it back. Resilience, you know. Once that happens, come on, keep chucking, keep going, and fucking, they ended up winning. You know what I mean? The defense stepped up a lot. Yeah. I feel like the defense, how they played them. Uh-huh. Yeah, man. They you, you have to have energy on defense. It's effort and energy, right? Definitely. So, if you're gonna close out on people and um, defend, you need that energy. You need to be one step, but try to be one step ahead ahead of everybody. Uh-huh. Get those rebounds. You need to fucking. It's effort, right? Get to your spot, jump, bang some bodies around, box out, and get that right. So, 
uh, good energy, good effort from the Warriors. Um, you know, that's what I got from that. Yeah, definitely. Um, uh, I got the same thing. I mean, Curry's going to yeah, he's a little off, but, you know, it's fine. He, he's been doing good. He's scoring, like, 34 points a game. So, you know, yeah. what I mean? he's going to have those. But I guarantee you, this game six, he's going to get it, and they're going to close it out. Let's hope that's so. It. Let's hope so. Dubs. Let's go. This is a sick ass fucking flag right here. Like yeah, a little for, garden flag. Yeah, it's for us, bro. Oh, we can't even not be recording. Fuck. It's dope, though. Yeah, it's for us. Keep it here. That's I mean, I'm going to get little stuff here and there. Um, that's dope. I know I need to grab some shit, too. Um, um, that's anything it. Anything else? That's yeah, man. it. Um, Thank you guys for tuning in to the first official episode of the Role, role Players. Role Players. I'm a Weezy. P does make sure you uh like comment subscribe um share and um you know what i mean let's get this shit popping yeah you know what i mean show it to your folks show it to your fam show it to your maybe not your kids you know what i mean but let's go thanks thanks for tuning in we'll see you guys soon bye Bro players oh.